Hello everyone, so today we are going to solve equation with square root. So to solve this equation, we just simply need to square both sides. So we have to square both sides. So if we square both sides, we can see that the square and the square root will cancel. We'll be left here with x plus 1 equals to 9 square will give us 81. So we are going to have x will be equals to 81. This is positive. When it crosses here, it becomes minus, minus 1. x is 80. So we can check, we can check it in this equation. So we have x plus 1 is equals to 9. So if x is 80 plus 1, this will give us 81. The square root of 81 is 9. So our answer is correct. So x is 80. Let's move to the next question. Now, for this question, we have to make sure that the square root is set apart. So we need to take this plus 5. When it crosses, it becomes minus. So this can be written as x plus 7 should be equals to x minus 5. So with this, it's easy to square both sides now. We can square both sides so that we can remove the square root easily. So we can see the square and the square root will cancel. Here we'll be left with x plus 7 should be equals to x minus 5 squared. This is the same as x minus 5 times x minus 5. So if you open this bracket, this will give you x squared minus 10x plus 25. If you open the bracket, this is what you're going to get. So we have to make this equation to become a quadratic equation. So we have x squared minus this is plus x when it crosses it becomes minus so it's going to be minus 10x minus this x will give us minus 11x then we are also going to have plus 7 when it crosses it becomes minus 7 minus 25 will give us 18 so here we are going to have 18 this should be equal to 0 so to solve this, uh, let's factorize this. So if we want to factorize this, x squared, we have x, x. Okay, so we have to think of two numbers that when we add them together, it will give us 18. Okay, two numbers that when we, when we multiply together, will give us 18, sorry. And when we add them, it will give us minus 11. The two numbers are minus 9, minus 2 to 0 so x will be equals to 9 or x equals to 2 now we have to check which of these two answer is the correct one so to do that we can check it in this equation let's write the equation the square root of x plus 7 equals to x we take um, this 5 and bring it here minus 5 so you see if we have to put 2 in the place of x, if we substitute 2 here, we are going to have 2 plus 7 will give us 9. And 2 minus 5 will give us minus 3. So the square root of 9 is 3, but here is minus 3. So this one is wrong. This is not the answer. So the answer is not 2. So let's check 3. So we have x plus 7 let's check on 9 when x is 9 should be equal to x minus 5 so if we put 9 here 9 plus 7 should be equal to x is 9 so we can put 9 minus 4 okay 9 minus 5 sorry 9 minus 5 so 9 plus 7 will give us 16 so we have the square root of 16 and 9 minus 5 is 4. So we can see we have 4 on both sides. So our answer for this question, our answer for this question, our answer for this question is 
x equals to 9 x equals to 9 is the correct solution thanks for watching